multiple sclerosis is an uncommon disease. So a lot of people don't know about it. Basically, it affects young individuals, affect girls more than boys, and it's a disease of the nervous system. So it picks up some spots in the nervous system, like the eyesight, either in one eye or both the eyes, or balance, or mobility. Sometimes such people lose control over the urine and stools as well. The symptoms come over a period of two or three days, stay for a while, and get better. Because they get better, a lot of people never see a neurologist or never see a doctor because the symptoms have become better. Then the symptoms come back. When they come back, they might affect another area of the body, another area of the nervous system. So in short, it's a, it's a disease of young people, affects girls more than boys. It produces recurrent neurological dysfunction pertaining to the eye, the balance, and things like that. What goes wrong with the nervous system? Our nerves are like electric wires. There is a wire from inside and there is a covering from outside. So in this disease, the covering is peeled off. Because the covering is peeled off, the wires inside come in contact with each other. And it's a kind of short circuiting, to put it in simple terms. For a long time, it was believed that multiple sclerosis does not exist in India. But now we know that multiple sclerosis is very much here and it is seen in all socio-economic strata. See, if you look at the society, everyone knows about cancer, everyone knows about polio, everyone knows about heart attack, but if you go around asking, do you know what multiple sclerosis is? You will find very few people who know what multiple sclerosis is. This situation, we call an orphan situation, and these diseases are called orphan diseases. Because no one knows about them, they are not common, and therefore, not much is done about it. So multiple sclerosis is uncommon in Asia, uncommon in India, but is very much there. And currently, lack of awareness is one of the problems that the doctors and the public faces when multiple sclerosis comes up. See, I said that MS is an orphan disease. So it goes without saying that not many people know about it. So when a patient is diagnosed, he is at a complete loss. The society doesn't know what disease he has got. Sometimes his doctors don't know what disease he's got. And he doesn't know where to look up to. In this situation, what really helps people is a support group. And I must say that the Multiple Sclerosis Society of India is one of the support groups that are very, very active and doing work at different levels. They do work at social level. They have awareness programs. They do work at medical level, whether they have medical camps every year. And in general, I think this, uh, this uh, support group is one of the most active groups that I have seen in India. When patients come back and report to us, say, usually call them once in three months, once in six months. So when they come back, say, how do you appreciate what's uh, being done for you? They definitely like the medical consultation. They want to talk to us. They want to know how we look at disease. But a lot of them do mention that they like to talk to the MS Society people. They are very happy when the MS Society people visit them. They are very happy when the physiotherapist goes home. See, a fair number of these people are disabled. It is not easy for them to go to a physiotherapist every day. So the home physiotherapy program, they really appreciate because the person goes home, gives them exercise at home, and they develop a kind of friendship with the physiotherapist and the workers of the MS Society of India. So I think it's a very vibrant and very useful activity that they do. I think in this disease, the appeal to everybody is to support in whatever way they can. First of all, they must help in spreading the awareness so that people know that this disease exists in India. Just like polio, heart attack, cancer, this disease is there. This disease has treatments nowadays. And as you know, with every passing year, new and new remedies are coming up. So one day you'll completely conquer it. But at this point of time, a person who is suffering from multiple sclerosis certainly deserves all the social, financial, medical support that they can get so that the, this dastardly disease that comes early in age can be conquered up to a point. New treatments are expensive. So the treatments for multiple sclerosis, the interferons, 
and the newer ones, the oligoclonal and monoclonal antibodies, are very expensive. The expense runs in thousands of rupees every week in the form of injections and tablets. And it is well beyond the means of most of us Indians to be able to support themselves to treat this disease. And therefore, it is very important that they have support from their employers, support from social services, so that they can sustain these financial drains.